Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video and today we'll be talking about everything we know about Ubisoft's open world Star Wars game. Ubisoft has confirmed that they are in the early development stages of a new Star Wars game and we are going to go over every single detail that I could possibly find about the game. Before we start, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn the notification bell on so you can be notified when these videos go up so you can watch them at your leisure. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers so if you would subscribe that would be greatly appreciated. Now let us begin the video. As previously stated, Ubisoft is making a new, story-driven Star Wars game completely separate from anything EA related. This is a very important detail to consider, considering EA has had the legal right to Star Wars video games for the past 8 years. But it seems to have been cut short due to the lack of games, the amount of controversies around their games, and the lower selling titles like Star Wars Squadrons, and the amount of cancellations of games that they've previously started. All these factors led to Lucasfilm being somewhat unhappy with their current exclusivity, ending it early, and opened up the license. Lucasfilm also intends to continue to work with Ubisoft and let them use the Star Wars IP in the future to create more Star Wars games. It is unclear what other companies could be working on Star Wars projects at the moment, but what we do know is that Jedi Fallen Order 2 is being worked on by the same people who made the original game with a larger team, also being considered with several older remasters of games and updating games that were finished but never released that I will discuss in another video. In short, recent leaks suggest EA is looking into releasing an updated 1313 game, as well as some rumors about something Republic Commando related. Again, I will be covering all of these leaks and rumors in a separate video in the future. Development of this game is in the early stages of development as previously stated, and you can expect it to release in 3-4 to four years roughly, depending on how much content is in the game, how long the story is, and what engine they're running the game on. It's so early in development that they are still hiring a team to actually work on the game. Due to this factor, we have very limited knowledge about this upcoming game. But what we do know is the director of the game will be Julian Geraiti, who directed The Division 2 and The Crew. The game will be developed on Massive Entertainment's Snowdrop Engine, and it could take up to dozens and potentially hundreds of hours of in-game playing time before you actually complete the story aspect of it, depending on how much you actually explore. And it could take even longer depending on how much you want to explore after you finish the main story. Beyond that, we don't really have any official details, but what we can do, however, is go into speculation of what the game will be about and who it's following. Many, like myself, see this as an opportunity to capitalize on the Mandalorian's success as a show and create an open-world Mandalorian bounty hunter game set in the period of the Mandalorian. It could follow Din Djarin, but I find that very unlikely since there's only so much that can be told about the Mandalorian story thus far, and they have said that they want to have the main character be someone completely new. We could see other fellow Mandalorians in the show like the Armorer, Bo-Katan and her gang, and Boba Fett possibly picking up where we left him off in the end of Season 2, but I do find that unlikely again as they said that they want to make original characters for this game. So we want an open world Star Wars game with completely new characters, so what better time period would there be for an open world Jedi Star Wars game based in the High Republic era, following the Jedi of the books and making your own Jedi, just to get familiar with the time period before Star Wars shifts his focus onto that period even more. I would consider this pretty unlikely as well since Fallen Order kind of fills that spot of a game following a Jedi and it being exploring kind of Star Wars open world game, so I'm not really sure if that's too likely. There was actually rumors of an open world Star Wars game being worked on by EA that was cancelled previously, and this was called Project Ragtag. The likelihood of seeing Project Ragtag being revived is not really too likely since this is also a completely different studio, so I wouldn't consider that really much of a possibility either. But that is going to wrap up everything we know about Ubisoft's open world story driven Star Wars game. If you did enjoy, be sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn the notification bell on so you can stay up to date on all Star Wars gaming news. Right now, I'm covering LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga mainly, and additionally, we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers very, very soon. So if you would subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.